Alexandra Hildebrandt's husband, Reino, stored his collected mementos of the wall in a Berlin warehouse, which Edwina Sands visited in early 1990, while Germany was in the throes of reunification. She found herself at the juncture of art and politics, as she wished to commemorate the legacy of the wall in a sculpture. Edwina selected eight panels for her artwork, which she proposed to place at Westminster College in Fulton, Missouri, in tribute to her grandfather's Cold War speech. So my idea was to portray freedom in a work of art. And sometimes um, abstract ideas are, it's hard to get a, a physical grip on, a, on an abstract idea. But um, so after a while, I thought the way to portray freedom, first of all, you have to portray unfreedom. And the way to portray unfreedom is to have the wall, the barrier of the wall. And then by cutting holes in the wall, that would allow freedom to pass through. Then I decided that the whole point about the Berlin Wall was, and all those people trying to escape, and many of them losing their lives doing so, it was people who made it possible that the wall was taken down. The wall symbolizes for the German people and for all the world division, separation, dictatorship, violence. And this is not just symbolism in concrete, but rather it's symbolized in each individual person. As with Edwina Sand's aesthetic interpretation, artists along the East Side Gallery in Berlin today evoke the timeless dimension of art and politics throughout Berlin's turbulent history. International artists communicate fresh messages for a more hope-filled future for Germany. <laughs>